Let me see how many hardcore motherfuckers you are. How many people in here know what the slang is for canoe? Tell me. I'm sorry you lost someone on 9-11, man. I can't even imagine what that's like. How many people know what a canoe is? Cannabis hypocrisy has spent some time in my shoes. No, it's a fucking plastic piece of shit if you're lucky to get one that you put your piece of shit plastic motherfucking Bob Barker mattress in and you sleep on the motherfucking floor and you wait till it's fucking time to get into your cell so you start at the end of the line with the new boys. If you're not lucky, you just have to sleep on a fucking Bob Barker gray spooged up fucking leather thing with no... And then the gray blanket. The gray blanket's my favorite. That gray blanket is nice, man. That gray blanket is the shit. And uh, then there's that pillow. Oh, fuck you. There's no pillow in jail. So you have to use the piece of shit blanket for your pillow. Then you have to use your t-shirt for a pillowcase. Then you work your way to bunk. Now, here's my favorite part, okay? My favorite part about all this, okay? So you work your way. See, I don't sleep. I'm insomniac. So I saw every motherfucking thing. So you wake up, okay? Yeah, you move. You move slowly over to the bunk, okay? You're going to love this story. You move to the bunk, okay? The way you move is other, other fuckers move out. They go get sentenced or they get out. So you slowly move around until you get to a bunk and when you get a bunk if you're lucky you can get a radio a piece of shit radio up there like $40 for a piece of shit radio okay and then uh, so then you got your bunk and bunk becomes home right bunk is home right when you go to court you start the fuck back over because when you leave jail it's called rolling out so basically the guard opens the door and he yells your name and he says Roll out. And you got about three minutes to get your fucking little mattress and your fucking piece of shit wool blanket and your little fucking shoes and your cup and all your shit that you've collected, which is mainly made of paper and drawings, and you have to leave. And then wherever you fucking go, you go to court, you ride on the fucking bus, fucking hang out, you go to video court, usually you don't get to see the judge anymore, and then you come back and you get to start over at the head of the line. I always just piss me the fuck off. I was like, I gotta start. What the fuck? I already went through the fucking shit. I already went through the shitty dorm and and got asked to get out of the shitty dorm because the two guys were butt fucking each other at night. And y'all let me go to the other dorm. Y'all gonna put me back in the butt fucking dorm? I don't want to go back to the butt fucking dorm. It's really noisy. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah. The butt fucking dorm just was sucky. You just start back over. And the nice dorm was four dorms away from the butt fucking dorm. So you had to go from the butt fucking dorm to the Thunderdome fighting dorm to the fucking other dorm. And then you got to go to the old man dorm where I went where if you don't fight, you don't get in trouble. If you don't argue, you don't get in trouble. So all the other dorms, all the other dorms are trying to kill each other or butt fuck each other. And this one, so it was like three people sitting at a table watching TV. It's like, it's like, um, I'd like to change the TV. Okay. Uh, what do you want to watch? Well, what do you want to watch? I don't know. Well, we can't argue about what we're going to watch because they'll throw us the fuck out of here and put us back in a butt fucking cell. It's like, right? So we don't argue. So what do you want to watch? And so nobody argues in there, okay? That was a really good fucking segment right there. Fuck, we have to... I hope somebody recorded that shit.